Now Cranston Mayor Alan Fung holding an event at Chapel View where he's expected to announce his candidacy for governor. Fung is the latest to announce after state rep Patricia Morgan formally joined the race yesterday. Former state rep Joe Trillo is also expected to run for the nomination. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in Cranston with what's unfolding right now. Well, Cranston Mayor Alan Fung is about to announce his gubernatorial bid right now. We're in a packed house. Introductory remarks are happening as we speak. And Fung's first campaign ad started running this morning. He says he wants to take his skills as the leader of Cranston statewide. My name is Alan Fung. Cranston's fourth term mayor set to officially announce his widely expected run for governor. Campaign signs are up. And in a new ad, he touts his family's immigrant roots and his accomplishments as mayor of Cranston. Creating thousands of jobs, fixing our infrastructure, and making Cranston one of the best places to live in America. Fung's first opponent in the Republican primary, House Minority Leader Patricia Morgan, announced her bid on Monday. I think I can help average Rhode Islanders live better lives. Former Republican State Rep Joe Trillo is also considering a run, telling Eyewitness News he thinks his experience in statewide politics gives him an edge over Fung. He's been a decent mayor. I don't have any problem. Uh, you know, I just don't think he has the qualifications that I have to step in and be governor. Fung won the Republican nomination in 2014 and lost to Governor Gina Raimondo by four points in a three-way race. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming says that doesn't mean he has the nomination in the bag this time, with Republican gubernatorial primaries garnering low turnout in Rhode Island. So it's a small turnout, so when you have a turnout like that, anything could really happen. So you can't take anything for, for granted that you're going to be the nominee. And, that's it. and it's and Democratic Governor Gina Raimondo does plan to run for re-election. She's going to announce her campaign next year. Now, again, Mayor Fung is expected to announce his gubernatorial bid in about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll bring you his remarks coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Live in Cranston, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. The latest developments now in the race for Rhode Island governor. It's still more than a year away, but the field of candidates is firming up. Within the last hour, Cranston Mayor Alan Fung officially announced he's running again. Eyewitness News reporter Seth Machado was at the mayor's announcement. She joins us live from Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Mayor Fung just wrapped up his campaign kickoff speech after officially announcing in the last half hour that he is running for governor again, this time hoping for a different result than in 2014 when he won the GOP nomination but lost in the general to Governor Gina Raimondo. I want to be your next governor. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung is in for governor again. The fourth term mayor becomes the second to announce his entry into the 2018 Republican primary. Our governor has failed miserably, and it's time to lead our state in a better direction. Fung taking aim at the job Raimondo has done as governor, including the dysfunctional and expensive UHIP benefits computer system, telling supporters in his campaign speech his own father was affected. They lost his application not once, but twice. Also criticizing Raimondo's tax incentive program for businesses. Our governor and our friends on Smith Hill would have all of us believe that businesses will only come to Rhode Island if we bribe them with taxpayer giveaways. Raimondo, who plans to run for re-election, defended that program to us yesterday, saying the proof is in the results. We've gone from bottom of the barrel, worst economy in America, to a thriving economy with people working, and I say we just keep going. And Mayor Fung has already made a sizable TV ad buy. Those campaign ads started airing this morning. Now he's set to face House Minority Leader Patricia Morgan in the Republican primary and possibly former state rep Joe Trillo, Trillo being the strongest Trump supporter of the three. Live in Cranston, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.